Hey y'all, <clears throat> this is going to be the Mosler 302 tutorial on why to balance the wheels, how to balance the cam wheel, and general manipulation tips. So when balancing the wheel, you can see there's a second spring-loaded cam behind there. That normally prevents you from pausing at the contact point. But if I balance the wheels like such, we can convince the two cam wheels that I just missed it to turn together. So you can, in fact, read a contact point off the rear cam wheel. This contact point is between about 5 and 7. So let's look at what that looks like once more on the lock. So I'm going to dial to where the true gate is on wheel 3. I'll talk about that in a moment. I'm going to get inside the contact points, click once, find the balance point that's around 9.75. It can move on this lock anyway. Come back to about 5 or 6 then sort of shift a few times and now all the spring tension is gone. Oh, I think I actually lost it there one more time. It's a little hard to do this on camera. Yeah, so we'll just shift a few times. And you have a little bit of motion here you can play with. So get to that point at 9.75, turn right until around 6, oscillate between 6 and 7 till it drops, you'll hear it, and then you can measure a contact point. Right there at, uh, let's say 6.1. So some manipulation tips. This fence has a thicker part that rests directly on wheel 3. That means wheel 3 will always indicate first. And what will happen is you'll get a contact point at 6 or you won't. If you get a contact point, you've found wheel 3. So that's that. For the rest of the wheels, there's two wheel packs. Either there's this key change one, which is plastic, and this hand change one, which is also plastic and also has um, high and low points. And there's 16 sides to the low points, and the true gate falls on one of them. So what you'll do after finding a true gate on wheel 3, which you'll always find, then you will search the other two wheels for their low points. So there's two options. If it has keys like this, or key change wheels like this, those sides are eh, not really there, but the wheels are kind of misformed. So I'm not sure this will show up on camera, but you can see there's a bump on this wheel. And it is exactly 25 increments to the side of the gate. So if you find those bumps on wheels, you can also find your true gates rather quickly. With this wheel pack, with the false gates being given increments around, what you can do is find the center of a false gate or true gate on 
each wheel and the true gate will be in the center of one of those so you can divide up 100 into 16 equal pieces that's around 6.25 and simply dial all combinations of the other two wheels or look for low points on those other wheels to speed up your dialing process but if you have to exhaust the dial it's not that long so I'll just show on the lock with a wheel pack it has a hand change pack like this what you're looking for when searching for the true gate on wheel 3. I'll start at 15 because I'm lazy and we've got things to do. So 15, the true gate is at 22 so what you're going to do is get inside balance there and adjust the last it of course come back jiggle a little bit and now it's balanced and now we just run it through the 5 through 7 area feel no extra contact point so it'll actually just feel like you're just running the wheel through space there so now if we go to a true gate on wheel 3 so 22 get back inside the contact area balance the edge 9.75 ish jiggle it between 5 and 6 and we have a contact point right there and it will it's a very strong feeling contact point if you run through a few times you should feel it one more thing with this cam wheel I can balance it here. Okay, so now we're balanced here. What can happen is that although they're moving together, it's not like they're welded together. So what you may have to do is jiggle it around between 4 and 5 before taking the reading at 6 to try to get the second cam wheel to a consistent location so you can always read the same readings. And it's a little bit fuzzy, so you may have to take multiple attempts at balancing. See if you get different readings. Hope this helps.